Welcome to session 4. What causes anxiety? You may be asking yourself, why me? Why do I become more anxious and panicky when others don't? There are a number of reasons why you may have become anxious in the first place and why your anxiety won't go away. These are described in the following sections and this is to help you understand the particular reasons why you are anxious and what you need to change that. So why have you become anxious? Sometimes there are differences from an early age. It seems that the body's arousal response, which was described earlier, is stronger in some people than in others. And from a very early age they can seem nervy or highly strung. For example, some babies react quickly and jumpily, say, to a loud noise, whereas others seem much more placid. Often differences within families are remarked upon, and children can be seen in a particular way, which affects how their families behave towards them. For example, parents may be much more protective towards a child who they see as nervous, and this can mean that that child has less opportunity to cope with normal stresses of life as they grow up. Also, many people learn to behave in an anxious way, by watching reactions of their parents or brothers and sisters. Children learn naturally by imitating or copying the behaviour of those around them. For example, learning to speak by copying what their parents say. In the same way, they can learn anxious ways of reacting to situations. If they see their parents react to stress by avoiding the situation rather than dealing with the problems, they may learn similar unhelpful ways of coping with stress. For example, if they see a parent deal with financial problems by drinking alcohol and staying in bed, then they may learn to do the same when confronted with similar difficulties later on. Stressful experiences probably play a much more important part in causing anxiety than any inborn tendencies to be anxious. There are two main ways in which this can happen. Traumatic conditioning. So sometimes people can become excessively anxious about a specific situation as a result of a severe stress in that situation. For example, after a car accident, someone may become much more fearful of travelling in cars, or someone who has been stuck in a crowded train or a lift may become trapped frightened of going into lifts or trains. They may avoid the situation because they are fearful and never get the chance to learn that it is no longer as dangerous or frightening as before. This is often the way in which very specific fears or phobias start. People can also become anxious if there are a number of stressful life events over which they have little control. For example, someone who loses their job, experiences the death of a relative or close friend, or moves house is under considerably more stress than another person who does not experience such changes. When under stress, people become more aroused and jumpy in situations which did not bother them in the past. And they are more prone to worry about events they have to face in the future. They may then learn to be frightened of their anxiety in that situation, so that the anxiety continues even when their overall stress level has reduced. Many different stresses can contribute to this situation, including death, illness, redundancy, financial or marital difficulties, and even happy events such as getting married or having children can be stressful. Anxiety may develop because of these reasons, but often remain when life is no longer stressful and long after any traumatic experience. It can help to understand why your anxiety developed, but in order to be able to overcome it, you also need to understand what is keeping you anxious now. Sometimes there are physical causes, like low blood sugar. When your blood sugar levels drop, Glands in the body can struggle to regulate the sugar levels, and this can cause other symptoms, 
especially high adrenaline, which is usually perceived as anxiety or panic. Thyroid problems, particularly an overactive thyroid, is known to cause anxiety symptoms. And some symptoms of anxiety mimic heart problems. So it is worth checking out with your GP to rule out any physical causes.